Hello, this is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a web server using HTTP, and which is a shorthand for the previous version. Okay, so this is the second version. And this is the previous version. We listen for the request event. Okay, and the next one we are going to is uh, add an uh, sort here. Let's add a here and uh, app one dot js. Okay, and uh, how to do that is uh, um, how to do first the same thing we have to require for the HTTP module. Okay. Then after that, we're using HTTP to create a server. And meanwhile, we can give a function. The function is a callback function, which is a request and a response. Okay. And then we can continue chaining to listen. Listen for 3000. And we can add a callback function to see if the a uh, server is created successfully and here i can add a console log um, server the server is uh, on is uh, running on 3000 and here we can take care of the request and the response okay and how we just give a very simple one which is the response dot end okay hello world okay and now we can run it and the node app one dot js okay so now it's running on 3000. We can make a call to that. Hello world, successful. So you can use in one of them. Okay, let me uh, write. So you can use in this way or you can use in this way. This is kind of like a shorthand. And this one is like a full, you listen for the event. Uh, you listen, you attach a event listener. And this one is uh, set the port number. And this one is uh, much shorter. Okay, both of the way works. And uh, since we are uh, talking about, I want to introduce something for you. Suppose now I make a change on our code or on our server code. Okay, our th this is uh, change. This is uh, what where I changed. Okay, now if I Directly open the browser and refresh. You will see it. The change is we didn't get the change, and instead we in in order to get the change we have to stop and rerun it. Okay, then now you will see the change. But every time if we do like this, it's kind of slow down our performance, like wasting our time, right? And in Node there are lots of um, modules which you can detect the change and automatically start your server like forever um, like a node moon so what you can do is you can uh, install a node moon like install well, tomorrow we are talking about the uh, npm uh, not tomorrow sorry later slides because tomorrow later okay uh, npm install and you can install node moon and hyphen g means globally okay okay which means every application i written in current laptop a uh, computer it will have a node moon okay i already installed actually i already installed it before it's gonna do kind of like an update there Mm. Ah, slow. Okay, let's let's just wait a little bit. Okay. After doing, you will not see anything here. 
because it's globally okay so after that if we want to do we can use it not the moon app one.js to run this application and now the not moon is keep listening for the changes i made here if i make any changes and save it will automatically start our application so now if this is what i have so far suppose now i make a change i know the moon is great now i didn't save right this mean the dot here means not a save when i save you will see it already know the moon will automatically start like restarting due to changes start using node app.js uh, app app1.js then it will run it. so now when i fresh it will have the changes here so you don't need to uh stop the play stop the server and rerun okay so this is the second version of uh, how to using http module to create a web server and the lab, probably there are other variations online but uh, that's the two versions i know and uh, later on when we talk about express and express will have another way okay but uh, uh, express is kind of like a wrapper on top of the http module so just uh, another way okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you next time bye bye